what inspires my art is um, the West Coast, really, like the uh, Georgia Strait, Salish Sea area, all the Gulf Islands, the water, the sun. It sort of comes from a spiritual place. I think what I'm looking for is the the underlying truth in in our lives and in in the world. How I describe it is the place between, like the place where um, where water meets earth, right? Like that the the spot where those two meet. Like that's the essence of of a lot of what I do. Where air meets water, they change and they change into each other. That's what I'm interested in. Salt Spring Island has a great uh, art community here, and I'm glad to be part of that community. Like, it's very amazing. I have so much support from other artists, and uh, people are very encouraging with my work. It's the islands, the Gulf Islands, they just influence um, everything that I do in my life, including my art. I've been making calligraphs for about 10 years now. Making a calligraph, um, it's a printmaking technique and you end up embossing the paper which is very interesting and sort of beautiful in its own way. It's just a very unique and sort of modern take on a very old form of printmaking, intaglio or etching. Calligraph, instead of scratching into what you have as a plate, um, you're building up texture. So you're basically making a little relief uh, collage. You can use dirt, you can use bits of things, as long as it's not too, um, too high. It needs to be uh, fairly thin to get through the roller. Well, first of all, I make the plate. And then to print the plate, I ink, put ink on it and put paper, wet paper on it and run it through um, my press. And then take that piece of paper off and let it dry and do, go through the process again until I have as many as I want to make an addition. The second time inking, you know, I know I've got a lot of um, the little cracks and stuff. In. Now I'm inking the crows again and I have this other first one close so that I can look at it and reference it. When it was first being explored like in the 60s it had a sort of a, an awakening and now it seems to be people are embracing it more, more artists. So the great thing about holographs as far as that I like about them that um, you don't necessarily get with the regular intaglio etching is um, that you get lots of embossing. It's unique, it's catching on, 